Hello everyone and welcome back to Willow's Notes. In our previous video, we saw a cross between a heterozygous gray fly with normal wings and a mutant pink fly with short wings. After analyzing the results, we determined that the two genes were on the same chromosome and crossing over had occurred. In today's video, we will talk about the relative frequency of the recombinant phenotypes and how the frequency depends on the distance between the linked genes. So we agreed that these two phenotypes are parental phenotypes. They lead to flies having identical phenotypes as the parents. However, these two result in phenotypes that are a combination of the two parents, meaning gray body but short wings, pink body with normal wings. That's why we call them recombinants. Let's calculate the frequency of the recombinants, meaning, let's see, out of all the flies, what is the percentage of flies that have recombinant phenotypes? To do that, we first need to add the numbers of flies that are recombinant. That's 150 plus 130. Now, we divide this number by the total number of flies. So that's 720 plus 700 plus 150 plus 130. And if we add all these numbers, we get 1,700. And of course, because we are trying to find a percentage, we're going to multiply this whole thing by 100. And we get 15%. So our percent recombinance equals to 15%. Now let's assume for a second that these were not our observed numbers. Let's assume that the observed numbers were the same as the expected. Now let's try to find percent recombinants. If we add the recombinant flies, that's in this case 430 plus 430, and we divide that by the total, which is 1700, again multiply that by 100, you get 50%. We knew we would get 50%, no? Because if we look at the numbers, half of the flies are parental and the other half have recombinant phenotypes. But we agreed that a ratio of 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 means that the two genes are on different chromosomes. So what does this 50% represent? In the real scenario, with our observed results, we got a percent recombination of 15%. Therefore, if the recombination frequency is less than 50%, we say that the two genes are linked. Now let's talk a little bit about linkage maps. Linkage maps show us the relative positions of genes on chromosomes. Each 1% recombination frequency is equivalent to one map unit. The greater the number of map units, the further the genes are on a chromosome. For example, the recombination frequency in this question was 15%. That means the gene for body color and the wing shape are 15 map units apart. Now let's add a gene and call it X. I'm going to add a gene right here and we will call it X. And let's say that G and X are 50 map units apart. Then they will behave as if they are on different chromosomes. These two genes are so far apart that at least one crossing over can take place between them. So you see how 50 map units, which means 50% frequency, acts as a cutoff frequency that gives us an idea whether the two genes are linked or not. And this was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!